In this video segment, we identify and describe the system-supported feature icons, which are part of the Glowcom toolbar bar. Then we will explore the phone module. The feature icons are located in this row. This icon launches the phone module, which we will describe in depth later in this segment. The next icon in this row is for the conference module, which is used to set up and manage conference calls. Next, we find the icon for the group chat module, used to invite and manage a group chat session with other Glowcom users. This icon is for the voicemail module, which provides the user visual tools for listening to and managing their messages. The next icon is for the channel module. It allows the user a convenient way to send chat messages to all members of a selected department. The following icon opens the Glowcom Fax Service Module. Currently, this module is not supported. However, Host My Calls provides an internet faxing service which functions outside of Glowcom. This icon opens the Video Chat Module for the preview of how the user's video image will look during a video call. After the Video Chat Module, we find the icon for the Online Self-Care Module. The module is a custom mini-browser that takes the user to an online self-care portal on the Host My Calls service. And the last feature icon opens the Parked Calls module. The module dynamically displays calls that have been parked and allows user control. Now back to the phone module icon. By clicking its icon, the phone module opens. On the left and right sides of the number pad are controls to manage both the user's receive and transmit volume. Placing calls can be done by dialing numbers from the phone module keypad, the computer keyboard, or by using the drag and drop feature of Glowcom. Keep in mind, this tutorial is using a soft phone profile for Glowcom. Here we are placing a call to a contact by highlighting their position in the main module of the Glowcom directory. Then by dragging the icon to the phone module, the call is placed. If it was using a profile where it is bound to a desk phone, the desk phone would ring first. When answered by the user, the call would be dialed. Now that the call is established, the user has options for managing the call with the mute, hang up, transfer, record, and park features. This icon allows the user to transfer the call with the drag and drop feature to another contact, like so. Receiving an incoming call automatically launches the phone module. In this unanswered ringing state, the phone modules provide caller information as well as options to answer, reject, transfer, or send the call to voicemail. Clicking the answer button answers the call and it is now active. Other parties can be added to the active call by dragging and dropping them into the phone module. As the added parties answer, a conference call is established. This changes the phone module to a conference call module. In this module, a list of conference participants are shown, and the microphone icon dynamically appears for each participant who is speaking. The user has options to manage the conference by selectively muting or removing participants. These icons are used for this control. The user ends the conference by clicking the checkboxes for all participants, then clicking the red X here. This concludes this segment of using Glowcom with Host My Calls.